title of presentation is shown, Resolving Conflict on Child Welfare Teams. The screen shows an animated workplace. Team members are sitting around a table in a meeting, and one team member, Sam, is joining remotely via video call. Think of a time when you've experienced conflict at work. Do you ever worry about what you will do or say in the moment when a conflict occurs on your team? Building conflict resolution skills and shared understanding of how your team will handle conflict can support you in your work to cultivate a psychologically safe space. Let's join the permanency team at a local child welfare agency to see how they address conflict during a meeting. Meet Janet. Janet is the agency's permanency program manager and is facilitating today's meeting. While she is new to supervising the team, she has worked in child welfare for 15 years. Meet Sam. Sam is a permanency planning specialist and has been with the team for five years. He will be attending the meeting virtually due to travel. Meet Kelsey. Kelsey is a peer mentor with lived experience in foster care. For the past three years, she has worked with young people navigating permanency planning. Janet is identified on screen as the speaker. Good morning, team. Thank you, Sam, for joining us virtually today. Our team has been asked to develop a work plan that includes recruitment strategies, a compensation plan, and specific approaches to include young people, parents, and caregivers in every aspect of the initiative. Kelsey is identified as the speaker. This sounds great. I have many ideas about how we can include some of the young people I mentored and their family members. Who will be responsible for leading the work plan development? Sam is identified as a speaker. Hold on, I would like to say something. Janet, I'm not sure including more young people and families is going to help our initiative. We've already started planning and I feel like this will just delay our progress. To be blunt, I'm not sure there's any value add here. I can already tell you what we're going to hear and honestly, listening to people complain all day about what didn't work doesn't feel very productive to me. One moment, Sam. I'd like to answer Kelsey's question. As a reminder, please use the raise your hand icon so we can make sure everyone has a chance to respond. While all of us play a role, we are looking for volunteers to facilitate working sessions. Sam, I'd like to check in with you about your perspective and any experiences that you've had that may have informed that perspective. While sometimes including more voices can feel like more work, we know that we can't improve our practices unless we work collaboratively with young people and families. On the laptop screen, Sam has turned off his camera, making it unclear he's still on the call. Can I just respond to Sam? Sam, are you still there? I totally disagree. In my role, I consistently hear good feedback about what we could be doing differently that would improve our processes and lead to better permanency outcomes. The young people I meet with are always expressing interest and opportunities to share their perspectives with the agency, and they're not complaining. They're thinking about what needs to be changed. Kelsey, I'm thrilled to hear that you've been hearing helpful feedback and that some of the young people you've been working with might be interested in this partnership. I also want to take a moment to reiterate our agency's commitment to engaging people with lived experience in our work. We can't do this without young people and families. Sam, are you still with us? Are you able to turn your camera on? Sorry, Janet, I just need a second to be off camera. I'm going to respond to Kelsey first. What you mentioned earlier, Kelsey, that wasn't my experience working with children and families. Janet, I'm happy to check in with you, but I'll tell you right now that I'm not interested in participating. I don't have the time. I've already invested a lot of work in this permanency initiative, and now it sounds like that will go to waste. Sam, having these kinds of conversations virtually can be a challenge. Please take a moment if you need to, to come back on camera when you're ready. I recognize that you are not totally on board with this approach and that change can be hard. I welcome the opportunity to talk more with you about what this process will look like for you and our team. I want to acknowledge and normalize the conflict that we're experiencing. Disagreeing with one another is not a bad thing and how we express our disagreement should be aligned with our team norms. Let's take a moment to reflect on those norms. I appreciate the opportunity to revisit our norms. I'm reflecting on our norm to consider the impact of our words, and I'd like to share something with Sam. When you said your work would go to waste, and that engaging people with lived experience wouldn't add value to our process, 
it made me feel like you were dismissing my experience, my value, and the value of the young people I work with. I'm not sure if that was your intent, but I wanted to be sure I shared it with you. In the spirit of honesty and open communication, that's also in our norms. Sam turns his camera back on and reappears on screen in the video call. Kelsey, I'm sorry. That wasn't my intent, and I appreciate you sharing that with me. If I'm being honest, I think I'm wondering whether my expertise is considered valuable anymore. I should have thought about how to share those concerns instead of making it seem like I don't care about you and the people we work with. I'm going to take Janet up on her offer to process some of this. Revisit the Fostering Psychological Safety on Child Welfare Team's resources as you reflect and plan with your team. The screen reads, This video was created by the Capacity Building Center for States under contract number HHS P233201500 71I and funded by the Children's Bureau, Administration for Children and Families, U.S. Department of Health and Human Services. The opinions expressed in this video do not necessarily represent the views and policies of the Children's Bureau.